everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the May Silk and Sonder Planner. I really enjoyed the April one, so I can't wait to get into the May. And even though there's not a whole lot going on in the world, the self-help sections and the journaling part of it has been so nice. So, look at this beautiful May planner. Cannot wait to get into it. I hope you're excited too. Let's open it up. The theme for the month is admiration. So here's a table of contents. And here's your instruction sheet for your for all the different activities. Here's the year at a glance and the month at a glance. Beautiful flowers. I love the flower prints on all these planners too. And here's some months in advance, four months in the future. You can jot some broad ideas in here. All right, April reflections. This is things you think about in April. And your May intentions. So the things, your goals, your plans, your intentions for May. Um, I really enjoyed, I didn't really, in April, I didn't really do the mood tracker. So I'm going to try really better to do it for May. Um, but I did enjoy the habit tracker. So I'm excited to do that again for May. So that was good. Admiration log. Write down something you admire about a stranger, someone you know, something or yourself every day. That's great. That's amazing. I I love this for April and I really enjoyed it. It was grateful. Things that you're grateful for. This one is things you admire. I really, really love this. This is probably one of my favorite pages in the whole book. An admiration jar. What are specific characteristics, qualities, and things you admire about yourself? Who do others, what do others admire about you? That's really nice. You have to actually probably ask people. And some admiration journaling prompts and questions to help you admire yourself or other things in the world or just talk about admiration. It's saying to admire beauty around you, in nature, at home, and others, and you could draw it. I don't remember this being in the April planner, but I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't remember it. And here's a coloring page. This one's really pretty with the heart. Love it. And then there's a poem. back too far. Here's a couple recipes. Last for April I did try the stuffed acorn squash which was really good and I did the zucchini noodles which were okay. I didn't really like the dressing or the radishes. So but this one looks good. Animal style in and out burger. That looks good. It's like a little lettuce wrap burgers and baked bell pepper tacos. That's definitely something I would like to try. We like taco flavoring in our house, so that could be a win. There's some notes you can make for whatever you need. Another quote, expense tracker. I didn't really use this in April. I started to and then I realized it was gonna go way farther than this page, but maybe this would be handy for somebody. Okay, here's our week at a glance pages. I like the purple highlight on this one. It looks like a watercolor purple. And here's your meal plan. 
things you this week I want to feel. That's really neat. Here's another quote up here. And this is pretty much the same as April. Things I really enjoyed was the meal planning. Um, I was already doing the habit tracking in the other page, so I didn't use this. I did like the goals. I do like this. Um, I, I think it was different in April. The shopping list was good. And it was really nice to reflect on the week. And remember your favorite food or memory or song for the week. That was really nice. That's probably my favorite part. And then you can write down your individual daily plans here. In a time like this, when we're educating our kids at home or doing things at home, this is also good for to-do lists. So you don't necessarily have to be scheduling your appointments, but your to-do list could be here. And it would work very nicely for that. And then you have a page for notes. And that goes on all month long. So we're going to skip ahead. Sorry, I'm trying to skip ahead. I swear. Here's the last week. It's a full week in May, so then you'll start your June one. It'll show up that week. Oh, I'm going to stick them together. I'm sorry. And one more note page, and then um, their description about the Sonder. So... It's beautiful. May is great. I can't wait to put my ideas and my lists and my plans, how scarce they are, in here. Um, this will help me with my kids because they're doing distance learning with school. And it'll just help me keep organized my to-do list around the house. Well, I hope you enjoyed going through this with me. I have a code. Um, check down below for, I think it's 25% off, your first planner. So go check it. I'll put the detail exactly what the percentage is, of, is off in the description. Um, get you one. And I think you'll like it. So I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe because I always have fun things to share with you. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And have a great day. Bye.